New developments on the anti-Trump dossier. Glenn Simpson, Fusion GPS co-founder, that is the firm that worked to compile that unverified dossier, appearing in front of lawmakers on Capitol Hill today. Simpson was supposed to answer the committee's questions, but instead he chose to plead the fifth. Fox News's Catherine Herridge tried to get some of those answers out of Simpson a little bit earlier. Take a listen. Mr. Simpson, why are you taking the fifth? Mr. Simpson, are you facing legal or criminal exposure? Mr. Simpson, why is there a discrepancy between your earlier testimony and that of Justice Department official Bruce Orr? Mr. Simpson, what was on the memory stick that you gave Justice Department official Bruce Orr in late 2016? Mr. Simpson, will you take our questions? All right, joining me now is Jason Chaffetz, former House Oversight Committee Chairman and Fox News contributor. I, you know, I hope that everybody in Congress was taking notes because those are good questions and probably the ones Catherine yeah. put together um, that they would want to ask. What do you think is on that memory stick? Um, something very, very important because uh, Glenn Simpson has testified previously under oath for him to now plead the fifth would lead you to conclude that maybe uh, his testimony hasn't been consistent. At the key, at the heart of this, Melissa, is the timeline. The Department of Justice laid out a timeline, but you had James Baker, the, the chief counsel, others now come testify uh, and maybe point a picture that's a little bit different. And I'm not talking about being off by one or two dates, but a significant gap uh, in, in data and information that okay. the committee wants to know about. Yeah, but I mean, so why does that matter? Because they seem like they're pointing out the fact that these guys were all working on the dossier and they were working on, you know, they, what is the Trump Russia investigation, as they would say, earlier than they said. Why is it significant that they were doing that earlier? The, the core question is, what sort of assets were the FBI using and deploying? Were they the FISA application, going to a court and getting permission to spy on Americans? Were they deploying assets? Were they spending money? Were they going overseas uh, to encourage others to spy on, uh, on Americans? And this is the context of a presidential campaign and the targeting of people who worked even at a, at a great distance from Donald Trump. And so if your timeline and your justification for getting those warrants spending that money deploying those assets doesn't line up, it points to a more nefarious uh, intent with what they were trying to do to take down Donald Trump. I I'm sure you were too busy to see, but Senator Ben Sass was on Outnumbered today, and, and along these lines, he said, how long are we going to relitigate what happened in 2016? In other words, going down this path, it seemed to him, didn't seem terribly important. How do you respond to that? S I have the greatest respect for Senator Ben Sass, but boy, is he naive. I mean, go spend some time in Nebraska and, and work on the corn if that's what you're interested in. But in this country, it's not just about relitigating the past. It's making sure that the highest echelons of the FBI are not deploying their assets inappropriately. That's why we do oversight in this country. And if we were provided the documents and had the support of Ben Sass demanding that this administration provide the documents, the witnesses, and the information, Information, then this would have been done a long time ago. But just because it has to do with 2016 doesn't mean we just let it go because an election was had. That's not the message you want to send. All right, Congressman Jason Chaffetz, thank you.